Hey folks, Scott Bruns here from Saturday Hills Christian Camp and Retreat Center. This has no doubt been a crazy year and for me, uh, in my 41 years of ministry, it has by far been the most challenging. It's been filled with uncertainty and while that is true, it's also been full of countless reminders of God's faithfulness. You throw in the political and the cultural unrest that we've experienced and there are times that my flesh wants to let out some kind of primal scream. But instead I choose to trust God knowing and believing his truth and so I agree with the prophet Isaiah who says, you are my God, I will exalt you and praise your name for you have done wondrous things. And then he adds this little phrase at the end, plans formed of old, faithful and sure. Plans from the past that are going to be faithful and sure and true for us as well. 2019 was a record year for us and 2020 was on pace to actually set new records. We had our highest winter retreat numbers, our summer camp registrations were up 10 to 12 percent. Our giving was at an all-time high and we had every reason to think that was going to continue. And we were ready and excited to uh, serve and to minister in 2020. And then COVID hit. And in a matter of days, everything came to a stop. And we weren't sure what the future was going to hold and we were uh, now facing Zoom meetings that we had never done before and a ton of webinars and uh, discussions and conference calls and counseling sessions and we were trying to make decisions about how to move forward uh, because we were facing challenges that we had never faced before. So we had no idea what the future held for us or for Christian camping in general, but there were two things that we knew were going to be true. We knew God was going to prove himself faithful in this, and we knew at the end of it we would have lots of new God stories to tell, and both of those things became true. Personally for me, God led me to places in the scripture that encouraged me regarding his steadfast love and his sovereignty, and that led me to be consciously and intentionally thinking about my need to rejoice in all things, as Paul says in Philippians. We have lots of God stories and it's because God was faithful. Um, we were able to adjust uh, and to provide some level of meaningful ministry this last year. Uh, we uh, were able to uh, stay relatively healthy through it all. That was an amazing thing. We had to make some adjustments um, in the fall regarding some of our staff positions, but all in all our staff has been employed and we've been able to uh, meet our obligations. And here's the amazing thing, and I'd have never thought this was gonna be true, but uh, I am telling you that we were able to finish the year in the black. I never thought I would have said that. And it's because we had around 300 individuals in several churches come to our uh, aid and just voluntarily uh, gave gifts to make a difference. It's just an amazing, amazing story. 2020 was drastically different. I mean, we had to tell a thousand kids that they couldn't come to camp, but by God's grace, we were still able to minister to families and adults, and a lot of good things happened. A lot of encouragement happened. My favorite quote uh, for the summer was a brand new first-time family camp family that said that Scioto Hills was their new favorite getaway place. And that was encouraging uh, to us. Uh, we were able this year to purchase a house that we needed to purchase and were able to pay for that with the gifts that people contributed. Um, six acres across the road that we now own uh, at the camp. And I think the biggest God story of all is this, that while we lost over $400,000 in earned income and while we served 
75% less people, we never once had to draw from our reserve funds to make ends meet. And, and that is a huge blessing. And that is because of the generosity of our friends and families and churches who stepped up and were so kind and contributing to the camp. Um, it, it's an amazing thing. I, we're going to show that to you in a report on our website. But uh, we saw over $400,000 given this year in uh, gift income, and we never put out a specific plea to do it. That's a God thing. And all I can do is echo our theme, all to the glory of God. And I'm reminded of that old hymn, to God be the glory, great things he has done. And I like to say great things he is doing. So what about uh, 2021? We again have been seeking God's wisdom. We've been uh, pursuing counsel having discussions, trying to answer the what-if questions, and seeking to have the peace of God rule in our hearts. So as a result now, what we first of all have done is we've modified and pushed back our winter retreat schedule. Um, we are going to have our junior revolution retreat at the end of March, and then one week of uh, junior, junior high uh, camp, winter camp, there April 9th through 11 and then we're going to have one weekend of senior high winter camp uh, April 16th through the 18th. We're going to do our adult uh, retreats, our uh, rekindle couples retreat March 12th through the 14th and our men's renovate retreat uh, April 23rd and 4th. We've also added one more couples rekindle retreat uh, the Valentine's weekend February 12th the 14th. We then have decided, because of some open dates and moving that back, to create, uh, if you will, a hybrid uh, guest group option for some of our churches who would like to come and run their own retreat, where our staff will pour into them more than we typically do for uh, the average guest group event. So the big question that I know you're waiting for us to answer is, what about our youth camps this summer? Well, we've been pursuing God with us, asking for wisdom, seeking counsel, discussing things, trying to answer all the what ifs and all the scenarios that are, are uh, still present. And we still, for us, do not believe that we are uh, out of the woods yet regarding this virus and all the related things. There's too much uncertainty going on with that. Therefore, we have believed that it's best for us to hold off one more summer before we offer our traditional youth camps. I know that's a devastating, disheartening news for you, but we just believe it is best uh, for us. So we will not be offering New Frontier, Alpha, Revolution, or Minicamp this summer. It's the uncertainty just makes it too difficult for us to try to wrap our mind around how we can make it worked with uh, 50 to 60 uh, summer staffers and the uncertainty of how to deal with them if we have to quarantine. And, and uh, what we don't want to do is get in a situation where we have kids sign up and then we have to shut down camp uh, because of those protocols that, that could potentially impact that. So we think it's best to be proactive and make this decision now and avoid that kind of decision later. Again, uh, we regret that. Trust us, it's been a very, very difficult decision for us. While we can't have our traditional kids' camps, we are going to focus our attention on two areas this summer so that we can provide meaningful ministry. The first is what we're calling a modified hybrid guest group program that we're going to offer to churches uh, for the first three weeks of camp so that they can register as a guest group and run their own camp. The beautiful thing about it is that our staff will be able to assist them and facilitate their camp to make it be an effective uh, experience. The second part of our summer uh, ministry will be for family camps. We're gonna offer four different weeks beginning June 27th. They will begin on Sunday nights and uh, they typically go six days and five nights, but two of those weeks 
are we're going to allow families to choose a three night or a four night option if that works best for them. We've been doing family camp. Uh, last summer, family camp proved to be very successful, had a lot of new families participate, and we anticipate even more this year people feeling uh, comfortable in coming and doing camp together as a family. The good thing that we're thinking about can happen. Uh, as a family signs up for family camp, they would be welcome to invite other people or kids to join their cohort of uh, 10 or less. And so maybe that would allow some other kids from uh, your church uh, to uh, have a camp experience, even though maybe their parents wouldn't be able to come. So we're excited about that part of it. Uh, we love doing that. It's going to allow us to do meaningful ministry and uh, again, the details will be on our website uh, available to you. Thank you so much for listening to us. Thank you for praying for us. Prayer uh, works, and we've obviously seen God answer prayer this last year. Thank you for understanding our dilemma. We know that it's hard. It's been a really tough decision for us. Trust us. We regret uh having to do that, but we think that this is the best approach on how we can use our hills and our camp setting uh, for the glory of God this summer. So keep praying for us. Uh, keep promoting the camp. Um, let other folks know about it. And uh, for those of you that have been giving this year, what a blessing you've been. Thank you so much for that. Literally, we could not function this year without it. Over 60% of our income this year came from gifts. And we're just amazed by that. And we'll just encourage you to keep doing that. We trust the Lord will grant you a great year. Uh, we're looking forward, even though it's going to be another unique year, we're looking forward to what's going to happen here at Sarada Hills in 2021. The Lord bless you.